permanent streams of water coming from this hill. Because of um, the encroachment by human activities, increasing population from Nairobi, we have, we have encroached, encroached the forest and caused a serious problem of water for ourselves and the increasing population. I want to urge you I want to urge you, Your Excellency, I'm sorry, I will not take long. You see, the elected leaders took a very short time. I want to urge you that our proximity to Nairobi is both a blessing and a problem. Because of the increasing population, unless we do something about uh, encroachment here, we have a problem. I want to propose that where we have designated to be where people are, a fence should be put so that there is no more encroachment here. Today we are talking about 400 yards, another day we will say this, for that story to end, let us know henceforth where does the forest start and the story quisha. It may, not be, it may not be very politically popular, but it is the right thing to do to save our communities. The second thing I want to bring to your attention, Your Excellency, is that we have a serious human-wildlife conflict in Kajado. Two days ago, Two people have been killed by elephants. Every week we are burying a person. This has been occasioned by the problem of us competing for pasture between the wildlife and the people. I want to request that we find a model where we have the people and the communities living um, side by side in a harmonious way, the way the case is in the Mara. Why we have a problem, problem in Kajado is because in Kajado the community is not felt to feel that those animals are theirs. And yet, those animals are theirs. They are not theirs because they are not benefiting from it. They are not compensated when the animals kill them. So let's have a conversation because it does not require the change of law. It requires us to talk. Because today as we sit here, two people are being buried today. As we sit here, we are to be in that funeral. We abandoned the funeral to come and welcome you, Your Excellency. I believe there is a way that the animals and the people can coexist harmoniously and the indigenous communities feel they are benefiting from this wildlife. <laughs> Finally, Your Excellency, we want to commit that um, uh, your programs will support them. We are working together harmoniously as a county. Your administration and my government are working closely together. And I want to um, uh, say the myth that the Ma Nation never supported you is not true. Ma Nation supported you. They supported you in a very big way. But you know when they say when the shepherd was struck, Mbuzi zikapotea kidogo, first that happened kidogo kidogo, but these people supported you. And that is why every day, Ole uh, Major, Ole Tinai, Mary Senator, Ole Tutui, they are glued on TVs. Kuangalia, Mazuri, Tatoka, Ukoju. We know they are coming, but we just want you to know we supported you. Unajua siyasa kuna kuaga na shida kidogo kidogo ya kuekeana vitina. As the leader of this county, I want to tell you, when the rice wetu, tunakupenda, tutasimama na wewe. And I am the champion. Mimi ndio naongoza maneno ya kupanda miti. And we are doing very, very well. We not just do it for you, for our country, we are doing it for ourselves. We are badly affected by climate change, so it is something that we must do lest we all perish.